to you to uh, jump in on this and uh, add to our Facebook question of the day today. Can you ready for this? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, our question was, should the Cavaliers retire Tristan Thompson's number? As you know, he's going to uh, the Boston Celtics for a two-year contract. Joe English says, probably. It's hard to believe, but his career numbers are franchise top tens in several categories. That's with LeBron James on the team. Adding the ring puts him over the top. Lee Sutley says, no way. And Tim Gebhardt says, are you kidding me? What do you think, D-Man? I'm going to say yes, uh, no, mainly because... He was an integral part of the uh, title team, and that title team is legendary. The 15-16 Cavs uh, should be legendary, will always be, because they broke the uh, the drought, and you know I don't see a, a, a title coming for a Cleveland team anytime soon. No. Uh, so there's that. There's the, the fact that he was a, a quality player for a, a lengthy period of time with the Cavs, I will say that after he got his money, uh, he didn't seem to be the same player um, as he, as he was, you know, before the big contract. And you know, he got dinged later in his Cavs tenure. But when I look back at Tristan Thompson's time as a Cavalier, I think that he deserves to be up there. That thirteen deserves to be up there. Now, granted, the Cavs are running out of numbers, um, <laughs> but. I think Thompson deserves it. I, and by the way, he's one of the one of the best um, offensive rebounders you'll you'll see. Yeah, he, I mean, he did a lot of little things that helped his team win. And, and you know, you, when you think about Cavaliers franchise history, okay, unquestionably the greatest four year run in the history of the franchise was LeBron two point oh. Well, you know what? Thompson was involved in that. Yeah, you needed so, somebody to fill out the rest of the offense or the rest of the what's team. What's that, Les? Well, you needed somebody else to, to, to finish out the team. Well, right, but it's not like Thompson in that four-year stretch was a, a, a bystander. I mean, he contributed to the greatest uh, four-year run in the history of the Cavaliers. Right. And I, I've always looked at the Hall of Fame and wall hangings and things like that as – not to compare it to who's in, because those those guys could be mistakes. I I, I talk about Louis Aparicio in baseball and a couple of others, uh, uh, Bill Mazeroski. I, you know, one of the great moments in baseball, but I don't know that he's a Hall of Famer. But Thompson shouldn't be penalized because I don't know some average player made it up there. Each each franchise has its own reason for having certain guys in certain honorary honorary positions. Right, and, and Les, here's the other thing. I, I don't like to do this, like pitting one Cavs legend against another, but honestly, if Nate Thurman's 42 is going to be in the rafters, yeah. why can't Thompson? Well, he was a great player, but Cleveland had him as a as a sub in the last year and a half of his uh, very good career. Let's go 